Recognize it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Who idea was that? I'm not gonna play that title ever again thanks to some you know what marking it down. Who played it? It was me. Security get him out of here. I said to take him out, not shoot him. Uh, I wonder how random DCE feels. Right, we're gonna do this right and we're gonna do this properly. Hit my rant music. Welcome to the kitchen. Hey folks, RJ here again and I think I might leave Francesca out of this one and let me do the talking. I just watched Junior Fan 89's rant on the Disney Channel and Disney in general. And, mate, welcome back to YouTube. And it is the V most defining rant I have ever, ever seen. No joke. You're good then and you're good now. So welcome back to YouTube. On this little response I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about how Australia has also been affected by it. Now, I do warn for the fan fucks of Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana... And those Disney facts in general, don't bloody bother. Ratings have been disabled, comments are in moderation. You try and attempt, you're gone. Let's say you're fucked if you do it. Okay, let's begin. Now after the mess of the Francesca's War Fanboys episode, sadly the fan facts had to pour kerosene and petrol and set the studios on fire. I'm working with the insurers at the moment to get that fixed. But anywho, let's get on to it. Now, Junior said in his video it's confined to the US. That's what I think. But I'm going to have a look at what it is in Australia. And let me ensure you, we had the same sort of channel started around the mid-90s on Optus Vision cable network. Didn't come to Ostar until around the new millennium. And let me ensure you this. Sorry for those who've been in motor vehicle wrecks. It is a bloody car wreck. To be honest, it is a car wreck. Disney Channel today over here at Oz. Gone the classic shows, thrown out the door. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. And instead, we get caught in the crossfire. We were lucky for many years. No longer we aren't. It's the same as the US counterpart. Graphics, titles, shows and all. You won't find a classic film anywhere or a classic show. Except when Disney digs it out of the vault when a DVD release is coming up and the picture quality is crap as what you can get on the Blu-ray or DVD editions. Case in point. Thank you. This was shown on TV in 4 by fucking 3 I got the Blu-ray copy in 1080p HD. Oh, sorry, am I a little off track? Let's continue on. Before I continue on regarding the rant, let's talk about Australia's Disney history. Aussie Roadshow, if you can provide me with some help, just to clear the memories. Around the 1930s, 40s, when the first film came out, Australian Disney films didn't have a distributor. Or did they? But the classic kept coming onto Australian shores. Until around the 1980s, when Roadshow, now Village Roadshow, were the distributors of the Disney films here. They also controlled the Australian home video releases until 1993 when the Australian arm of Walt Disney Home Video was formed. Roadshow continued to distribute the films including the 1994 smash The Lion King and the 1995 Academy Award winning smash Pocahontas. Roadshow's last attempt at distribution of a Disney title came in 1996 with the release of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Unfortunately, this film had trouble with the Australian censors. It was rated PG by the Office of Film and Literature Classification, now the Australian Classification Board. Now, there are many reasons, so I pre-recorded this little track earlier. Let's have a listen. Three minutes, Gypsy Mother, pursued by Frollo, bang, dead. Attempts to dispose the babesy down a well. 30 minutes, Quasi gets tied up, pelted with rubbish, and flogged big time. 35, Frollo grows out. Sniffs the hair and says, I'm going to imagine a rope around your neck. At 50 to 52 minutes, 
Frodo sings of his feelings of Esmeralda, images of Esmeralda appear in the flames. Okay, scary. At 53 minutes while searching for Esmeralda, families were children are thrown in the water or locked in the houses which are set on fire. The ducks know about this, and at 75 minutes, the Battle of the Cathedral rages. Boom, 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 boom. And at 78 minutes, Frodo pursues Esmeralda and Quasimodo with sort of much minutes. And did you know, it was noted that the language, including the use of the song to tell parts of the story, was complex. And it would hinder young children's perceptions of the plot and eventual outcomes. No wonder it got cut out of theatrical release. Damn sure it did. It was rated G eventually after all those good and gory bits got cut out, but it didn't feel the same, although it had classification of vice that some scenes may scare children. Same with the home video. But they were back in 1999 for the DVD. And the result is the full uncut version, PG rated, with everything you want. Okay, with that out of the road, let's get on to Disney in general. I think Disney in general today has been suffering from the tween effect. That means kids under the teenage years, or even teens too. Sorry for that, I offend. But what happened to the days where it was animated films, TV shows, the works? Now you got six or eight different brands and franchises that you have to pick from. Princesses, varies on what the hell, I'm not going to list the rest. But let me assure you, has it really gone down the toilet? Well, in my opinion, yes. When Disney was around when I was born in 1985, or in the mid-80s, it was the shit. And you had to get the tapes. You had to go to see the films. It was solid gold. The Renaissance titles really defied it. Today, it's just 3D. Not every film is bad. It's just 3D regurgitated garbage. Sorry to say it, but yes, Wall League was good, and cars were good, but the rest, just put it to the side. I don't want to look at it. Now, Disney Channel in general. Australia's got there around the mid-90s when Optus Vision started up, in rival to Foxtel. So, of course, you were going to have some competition. The channel back then had classic movies every night, made-for-TV movies, classic shows, and good quality programming that was the 90s. And I'm not going to list them all, but this was the shit. So what happened? Come around the new millennium, 2001, still good. 2002, still good. 2003... Ah, meh, 04, we've got to pay TV disconnected since we're moving house, but 05, don't get me started. Yes, do not get me started. It lost its charm. Today's Disney Channel has reruns of Hannah Montana 50 fucking times a day, and the Jonas Brothers over and over and over again. You know what, I don't care for those two. Okay? I'm not in that market. So please exempt me from your little flame war. This is just the honest truth. But Disney needs to lift their game. I mean, The Princess and the Frog is coming out here in Australia next year. Will it bring it back? I think the damage is already done. Cajun Poison Disney, you shouldn't have not gone down the tween track. You should have stick to what you've done best, and that's just your animated features, classic TV shows, and good quality animated programming. Oh, and a few live action shows too. It should have been that way. It should have been that way, and that's all I've got to say about it. That's all I have to say. I'm not talking about those Jonas Brothers. I'm not talking about Hannah Montana, because they're not in my market. That's all I have to say for Disney in general, in Australia and so on. Until next time, viewers, Canvas Emily Marm is coming up this Friday. Stay sharp. This program is licensed by Creative Commons. Find out more at creativecommons.org and license your next YouTube video with the free licensing tool. Share, remix, redistribute. All free, all legal. 
and new culture. Go ahead, try it.